Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to reorder columns of a data frame in R. So in the video I'm going to show you four different examples and all of these examples rely on the data that we can create in lines one, two, three of our code. So if you run this code, you will see that a new data object appears here at the top right of our R Studio. And uh, we can also print this data to the RStudio console here at the bottom. And uh, you can see that our data contains three different columns, x1, x2, and x3. So if we want to order these columns, we have uh, different approaches. And uh, in the first example, I'm going to show you how to reorder columns by their column index. And uh, this is what you can see here in line 7 of the code. So if we want to reorder the columns by their index, we simply have to specify within the um, data frame, within our data frame, that we want to reorder our columns so that the column at index position 2 is at the first position, the column of index number 1 is at the second position and the column of index number 3 remains at the third position. So if you run this line of code, you can see here at the bottom in the RStudio console that the column x2 was moved to the first position as we have specified here. x1 was moved to the second position as we have specified here and x3 remained at the third position. Okay, so in the second example, I'm going to show you how to reorder our columns by the name of the columns. And uh, this is a very similar approach as in the first example, because this time here in line 10, we simply have to specify the name of each column instead of the index. So again, uh, here in the example, we would move the second column to the first position, the first the first column to the second position and the third column would be kept at the third position. So if you run this line of code, you can see that exactly the same data frame is returned to the RStudio console here at the bottom. In the third example, I'm going to show you how to reorder the columns based on the subset function. And uh, within the subset function, we would have to specify the name of our data frame. So uh, in this case, our data frame is called data. And then within this uh, function, we need to specify the select argument. And the select argument is basically uh, demanding the same as in the first example. So um, again, here we need to specify the index of our columns um, in the ordering how we want to return it to the RStudio console. So if you run line 13 of the code, you can see that again the same ordering of our data frame is returned. Yeah, and uh, finally I want to show you how to order columns of a data frame based on the dplyr package. And uh, in order to apply functions of the dplyr package, we first need to install and load the package, as you can see here in line 16 and 17 of the code. And uh, I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it, as you can see here in line 17. And then in line 18, we are um, reordering our columns based on the select function of the dplyr package. So if you run this line of code, you can see that again, the columns are reordered so that x2 is at the first position and x1 is at the second position. Okay, so that's basically what I wanted to show you in this video. Uh, so as you can see, you have several options in case you want to reorder the columns of your data frame in R. However, if you want to learn even more on this topic, you could check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the reordering of columns of data frames in R. 
and I will put a link to this tutorial in the description of the video so you can check it out there. And uh, furthermore, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications about future releases of new videos. Okay, that's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.